this is our title slide, but um, we had some DJ talks, we had some DevOps stuff, so it actually segued very nicely into what we're going to talk about today. Total accident. Which is everybody's a DJ. So I'm Don. I'm Jordan. I've been in marketing 20 years, so there are probably maybe not a lot of marketing people out here. Jordan's been in a solutions architect, solutions engineer for more than 20 years. So we feel like we know of what we speak. And yet, everyone thinks that they can do marketing because it's not technical. They had a lemonade stand when they were five. They saw an did, ad on TV once, right? Yeah. You know, that was a cool commercial. They maybe did the flyer for the prom. And what do they do anyway? They throw parties, right? Oh, there are a lot of Twitter, Twitter followers. We're, that makes we're them just genius. super fun people that bounce around the office and spend money. So everyone's a marketing genius. So Jordan and I were talking one day, and Jordan actually was a DJ. Professionally. And I said, I know how you feel, because everybody thinks they're a DJ, because they have music on their phones or their iPods or some damn cassette in their car that they were just rocking out to. You have no idea how often that crap happens, and they want you <laughs> to come in and play something, because everybody knows how to do your job, right? It's kind of like being a, an armchair sure quarterback. quarterback. Yeah. yeah. Right? Does this audience understand that? No? No? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a football reference. So no, no, no. Okay, not not not, not that not, football. Not what we call soccer, but but that football. Jesus loves. No, he doesn't. So um, so fun fact: I was a football manager in college, and I can't tell you how many times after games people came up to me and like, gosh, you know, if Brian had only thrown that pass in the third quarter, like, and completed that, we would have had a better game. Not necessarily. You don't really, you've never played. You don't know what you're talking about. And the tool doesn't make the maker, right? A lot of times when we see this in this industry, it's like we're walking up and down the, the aisle of the hardware store going shopping for tools to see what that purpose is. And so when they want to go out and looking for problems, and if I asked you, Don, could I hit, could I hit this nail with that wrench? You'd say, sure, dummy. And then I come back to you and say, your wrench sucks. It's really crappy at pounding <laughs> nails. Why did you say yes? It's the wrench's fault. It is, is it? the wrench's fault. But... Like our friend Paris, you can have the tools and not do the job because she has no idea that none of that equipment is actually turned on. But True she's story. got the fist pump. <laughs> she's there. She thinks she's rocking out the party. So the tools don't make you, right? Right. And you say, okay, that was fun, guys. But what does this have to do with DevOps? Well, once upon a time, many of you lived in silos. You were very happy. You never communicated with the other people except through tickets. Enjoyable. Life was good. And then someone said, Let's do DevOps. Let's all be friends. Yeah, but then, then we came in and said, let's just, everybody said, well, everybody needs to learn to code, right? So everybody with operational experience, everybody with this experience and that experience got flattened out, and this bad message came back to say, we all need to learn to code or be flat organizations, right. which is wrong. And then you have this guy, right? Who wants this guy to be your wedding party DJ? He's got the tools. They said, hey, Billy, you have a record player dating myself, but really? you can DJ our party, but not everyone should be a DJ or learn to code. Right. And so we're, we're coming around to a point. And the point is maybe not everybody needs to learn code and maybe not everybody needs to be exactly the same person. Let's right. celebrate our differences. Learn to be different. Remember, you're all individuals. <laughs> you're you, all unique. You and all you can have think for skills. yourselves. You do. You really, really do. So, and some of us, yeah, some of us are good at some things, but not all of us are good at everything. Not all of us are good at everything. Like you wouldn't want me to run your CI/CD pipeline, but you would want Jorn to DJ your party. I'm retired. And you'd want Josh Atwell, who was just up here, to DJ your party because he actually has great taste in music. So where are we going? Subject matter expertise. Instead of flattening our organization, let's celebrate our subject matter expertise. Let's celebrate who we are as individuals, come right. together, and put that subject matter expertise into one spot. Into you know, the analogy of a trapper keeper. Each of us know, I put a cat gif in here, not because we all do them, but Don hates cats. Because we're friends with, <laughs> because we're, because I hate cats, and we're friends with Victor Ops, and they have a cute cat. Right. But... It really, we had a webinar a few months ago, Gene did, and we talked about self-service and how it's much better to let people be themselves, share their subject matter expertise across the organization rather than living in their silos and not sharing 
or being forced to be someone that they're not. So put your smarts in one spot, learn from each other, celebrate your differences, pile all those differences together, and wind up using something that's well, called self-service, so I can take your smarts, use them over here, you can take my smarts, move them over there, and everybody's happy. So celebrate really diversity. it makes DevOps work better. So the lesson is be yourself. <laughs>